Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a review on Daredevil or let's say not review but uh, what is wrong with Daredevil. First of all uh, let me get this out of the way. Uh, it's just the show is absolutely great. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen I guess to be honest. Uh, mostly because of uh, maybe Kingpin but there are many many things that are really really good about the show and I would recommend it to anybody and this video obviously isn't made to uh, hate the show but to maybe highlight a few aspects that I really did not like about it uh, actually I wanna highlight uh, one aspect especially uh, that is the torture I mean I have seen this in uh, many other uh, like Hollywood or American series productions lately and I don't know Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or there was some kind of revolution I think it was called where the world went without uh, without electric power there was a lot of uh, torture in it by the good guys, the good guys were like torturing somebody every episode and this was also happening here in Daredevil and since this war is much more popular than the Strange Revolution series I watched a little uh, I wanna make a short video about this because I really don't like it uh, I mean uh, over here in Europe you have a common sense of torture uh, being bad uh, for several reasons I could get deeper into it, like somebody on torture will just confess anything. Uh, on the other hand, what what uh, thing do we have that uh, the, tor the one who's tortured just doesn't give you some fake facts so you would leave him alone? And in most of the torture scenes in Daredevil this would have absolutely worked for the villains. Just give him a fake address and he's away. Maybe he will find you again, but yeah, you have time to take some precautions. Anyway, um, there are also like plot-wise or character-wise some thing wrong with the torture. Like, I mean, the first time Daredevil got the name uh, Wilson Fisk out of one of them, it was like the most toughest uh, villain he encountered so far. Like, he was like totally uh unhuman and just killed like three guys and the last guy he just smashed his head in with a bowling ball but then when he got tortured by uh daredevil he uh, gave away the name wilson fist even though he knew it would mean uh trouble for all of his relatives and friends and he killed himself afterwards so I'm not sure why he would give a name, uh, would give away the kingpin's name just because he's tortured. If he's, or he's threatened to be killed, actually not even tortured the tough, but Daredevil is sticking like less in his throat, uh, nearly killing him, and then when, this is when he gives away the name, which really doesn't make no sense at all to me, especially since the guy kills himself afterwards, so he's obviously not afraid of death. Uh, yeah, no sense at all in the scene, to be honest. The fighting was great between those two guys, but the torturing in the end did make no sense at all. And yeah, I'm, I'm really offended by the fact that there's torture and like, I don't know, every of the first ten episodes of the series, which, yeah, really shouldn't be. And which is also, uh, concerning me is, uh, a pole. I read like a few months ago where I read that around like I'm not sure 40 or 60 percent somewhere around 50 percent of American people uh, would say that torture is okay if it's necessary like if you have a really bad guy then you can torture him because he kind of deserved it which is totally fucked up uh, if you want to discuss with me about this topic I, I uh, would love to have some comments uh, or some yeah, some uh, contrary positions about this uh, because I really don't know how you can in the same mind defend torture as, as a good thing in any way 
and I think um, Hollywood or series that are produced in general are right now promoting torture to a near absurd level which is very fucked up and I just wanted to get this out there again this is no cri uh, critic against uh, Daredevil the Netflix series in particular it was a great show I just binge watched it watched it and yeah it was really great and I can't wait for season 2 but I think I had to mention this. There are also a few light other problems in the show which I wanted to mention or just make like a fun video about the show where I like point out a few plot holes or, or strange decisions by some characters who are usually very smart and then make very stupid decisions at some points. But I think uh, the torture stuff is just so so much more uh, important to point out because I think there's actually going a little bit of of some conscious manipulation in it and when you see every hero in every show torturing somebody you are okay yeah all right it's it's like a heroic thing to torture bad guys and it's really really not so I hope I got this point across uh, and I hope I will get some kind of discussion in the comments. Uh, would be really nice, I think, to discuss this further on, on maybe why. I don't know. I'm not really sure how you are defending uh, torture or, or the portrayal of torture as being a valid thing to do. Uh, so I really wonder about uh, what people could uh, could mention there. And yeah. Uh, so I hope to hear from you guys in the comics and in my next video. Goodbye.